In this video, we're going to prove that the sum of the sine of kx, k is going from 1 to n, is equal to the sine of n plus 1 over 2 times x times sine of nx over 2, everything over sine of x over 2. Here, we assume that x is different from 0 modulo 2 pi. Okay? In fact, we don't want a sine of x over 2 to be 0. To prove this result, we're going to use the principle of mathematical induction. Okay? We, uh, I, we can prove it in different manner. We can find this one by using complex analysis, and we can get this result very quickly. But here, we want to use the principle of mathematical induction to see what we can get. First, we check that this property or this, this proposition that we want to prove is true for n equals 1. Okay, so when, on the left side, when n is 1, so we have only sine x. On the right side, we have to verify that we have sine x as well. Okay, here we plug n equals 1, and we get 2 over 2, which is x. Therefore, this one is sine x. And when we have n is 1, we have sine of x over 2, which is here. And in the bottom, we have sine of x over 2. Therefore, we can cancel these two and get sine of x. Hence, the left side and the right side are equal. This proves that this property is true for n equals 1. Now, we assume that it's true for k equals n. And we want to prove that it's true for n plus 1. Okay, so we're going to start from our induction hypothesis. So we're going to assume that uh, this sum here is equal to sine of n plus 1 over 2 times x times sine of nx over 2 everything over sine of x over 2. So we assume that we have this one and we want to prove that we we have this result true for n plus 1. Okay? That means we need to prove it to prove this result for n plus 1. Okay? Uh, how to do that? Okay? To prove that this one is true for n plus 1, we just add sine n plus 1 times x to both sides. Okay? So let's add, okay? Let's add sine n plus 1 times x to both sides. What do we get? On the right side, we get the sum sine kx. k going from 1 to n plus 1. And on the right side, we have to prove that we have n plus 2 over 2x times sine n plus 1 times x over 2 over sine of x over 2. Okay? Therefore, we have this one, n plus 1 over 2 times x sine of nx over 2 over sine x over 2 plus sine n plus 1x. So we need to write this one in terms of n plus 1. Okay? So here let's multiply and divide by sine of x over 2. Okay, now we're going to... Uh, we can use some uh, trick uh, identities to help us solving this problem. Here we have n plus 1 over 2, and here we have sine of n plus 1. We're going to use the half angle formula first. Therefore, in this case, we have sine of n plus 1 over 2 times x, sine of nx over 2, plus 2 sine n plus 1 over 2, x cosine n plus 1 over 2, x, sine of x over 2, everything is over sine of x over 2. Okay, here I use the half angle formula.
okay so the sine sine of 2x is uh, or x in this case I used x as n plus 1 times x okay here it's 2 sine of x over 2 cosine of x over 2 okay I use this one here now I can factor out I can factor out by sine of n plus 1 over 2x so and this one too let's factor by both so I have sine n plus 1 over 2 times x over sine of x over 2 and what's left inside is uh, sine of n x over 2 plus 2 cosine n plus 1 over 2 times x times sine of x over 2. Now I'm going to use the formulas that uh, let me express the product of the sine and cosine as the sum uh, of the sines only. Okay, so uh, I think if we can prove it, I don't know if we can prove it here or... Okay. So in fact, we know that uh, 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 two, two sine A times cosine of B is sine of A plus B plus sine of A minus B. So we can, we can prove this one here by expanding this one. Okay, so using this, this one's here, we need it here. Okay, we're gonna treat B as n plus one over two x, and A is x over two. So one, and the two here, the two here, it's it's coming from this product, when, or this, this simplification. So we're gonna use this one here with A as, B as n plus one over two, x and a is n is x over 2 once we do that okay so we're gonna have we still gonna have the sine of n plus 1 over 2 times x over sine of x over 2 and here i'm gonna keep this one here and x over 2 and using this formula here i'm gonna have the sine of a plus b a plus b in my in my case here a is x over 2 and b is n plus 1 over 2x when i do that i'm gonna get n plus 1 plus 1 over 2 times x okay and for the sign i'm gonna have uh, plus sign of a which is one half minus n plus one half plus one over two x okay so here all the steps are clear so here i'm gonna have when i do the simplification here n plus two minus n plus one over two it's gonna give me sine or minus n x this is just sine minus n x over 2 and since the sign is odd and I'll have the minus outside and therefore I will cancel this one with this one and I'm left with only sine n plus 2 here sine n plus 2 uh, plus n plus 2 over 2 times x okay therefore my sum okay the sum of the sine kx k going from 1 to n plus 1 remember that we are working from 1 to n plus 1 because we had to add this one this one term here here i'm gonna get this term here sine so let me move this one to the front and move this n plus 2 over 2 so i have sine n plus 2 over 2 times x times sine of n plus 1 over 2x everything is over sine of x over 2 and this is what i need so it's like i switched okay 
I like it. May prove I switched here. Look here. When I have only n last term, I have n plus 1 over 2 times n over 2. When I have n plus 1, I have n plus 2 over 2 times n plus 1 over 2. And this is what we have here. So here I prove that this result is true for n plus 1. So here I have sine of n plus 2 over 2 times sine of n plus 1 over 2 times x over sine of x over 2. This means that my property p n plus 1, if you call it like this, if you call this one, this if you call this one the property p n, okay, p n plus 1 is true. This one here is true for n plus 1. It's this one here. P n plus 1 is true. Okay? And therefore, I satisfied all the, the condition for the principle of mathematical induction. P of 1 true, we assume that P n, which is this sum here, is true, and we show that it's true for n plus 1. Therefore, using the principle of mathematical induction, it's true for all n's. Okay? Thank you very much.